This summer, as we started getting ready, we began to think about this year together. All the teachers who are teaching the same classes, the same students, yeah. same grade, that what if we came up with a one single question for each of those grades and see if that helps build some cohesion so the thing is, well, it better be a big question. You know, it, can't, it better be a... That we can all address. Yeah. And so for us, the ninth grade specifically was, you know, the question, why are you here? You know, what is, what's, what is your purpose? they're all asking that. They're all asking that question. I've had several students say at the beginning of the year, um, different answers that they have heard from different teachers in different classes. So all the kids are considering that question from each discipline. So there's an intense pursuit of unity there. The more that we can show how math and history are actually much more closely connected than they might have considered, it's a whole new world. For me, as an Algebra 2 teacher, you know, we peel back that idea. So an algebraist is an old Spanish concept for someone who used to restore broken bones. And so my encouragement, is, like again, given the mission here, my encouragement to the students is that they would consider learning algebra, but fundamentally become a restorer of what is broken. In Mr. Brock's class, we started off with like a simple equation and he took the whole board working it out and then I didn't understand any of it until we got to the end and we got the answer and then it was just like, aha, and the whole board just made total sense. Are you talking about the quadratic formula? Yeah. We knew what it was, like we knew the For quadratic sure. formula, but then he showed us how to get it from the simple equation to the quadratic formula and help us to actually understand it. He wants us to go from knowledge to understanding to wisdom, where we have the knowledge of something, but he wants us to fully understand it so that it actually becomes a part of us and we can apply it in our own lives. Mr. Davidson really helps us to think critically because when we have a question, it, even if we find the answer, he asks a question about our answer and it just keeps going and going and we get in more and more depth. Beautiful things are difficult. And so that just helps us to remember that beautiful things like learning and knowledge and understanding questions like the ninth grade question are difficult, but they are beautiful. We both really think of our disciplines in an interdisciplinary way. I share a class with him one of the periods. And so there are very often times he'll be back in the back grading or studying, I'll be on a, on a topic and he'll be able to chime in or I'll be able to ask him. You know, we have the same students, we have a huge heart for them. We love uh, helping them uh, connect, kids realize, oh, they really are, yeah. they're really into this, you yeah. know, like, yeah, we are really into this. It's great fun. I mean, sometimes I have to curve it back so I don't <laughs> ruin uh, the lesson, because I could do that. But it's it's wonderful, because we both believe this, that all these topics, all these subjects at CCS, they're all one. They're all different ways of looking at the story of God's people with God. We want all of our kids to grow in, in loving the truth, and the truth is rooted in the person of Jesus. Hmm. And if you take that out of the equation, it, it falls apart. This is the answer to why we are here. When they see the, the different connecting points between the disciplines, it's incredibly empowering. They have much more of a sense of purpose and a sense of wholeness, as opposed to very rigid and severely separated uh, classes. When they see that history and math and science and art all connect on a very deep level, it's enthralling. My name is Crew Brock and I teach Algebra 2 Honors. My name is Hunt Davidson and I teach History and Economics.